From calorie counts to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Lay's in the US and in China. This is Food Wars. In China, Lay's chips come in 14, that's right, 14 sizes. Coming in at our smallest chip bag, 12 grams, 23, 40, there's a 45, but we couldn't get that. 60, 65, 70, 75 grams, 80, 90, 104, 116, 135, and 220 grams for our largest chip packet. In the US, Lay's come in six sizes. There's only four, let me explain. Down here, the smallest bag is the multi-pack 28 gram bag, the vending machine bag. Move one up to a 2.625 ounce or 74.4 grams, so specific. Then in the middle, which I couldn't find, is a 2.75 ounce or 78 gram bag. In the middle here, the I mean, this is the one you see everyone. The eight ounce or 226 gram bag. In the middle here, missing is the family size. Too tragic for the American family. They don't get to see the 10.5 ounce or 297.6 gram bag. But of course, the size that we always have, old reliable, the biggest size, the party size, 368 grams. That means the biggest bag in the US is 67.3% larger than the biggest bag in China. It's not the size that matters, Joe. It's, no wait, no, actually it is the size. In the US, our flavored bags weigh less than the original flavored bags. Take this bag of barbecued Lay's. It weighs 7.75 ounces compared to the eight ounces you get with the original bag. Same price, but less product. Back in 2014, PepsiCo claimed, quote, the reason for the slightly higher price per ounce for flavor chips is the added seasoning. Interesting. So, Lays, can you explain to me why this bag of lightly salted chips is 7.75 or seven and three fourths like the flavored bags and not eight ounces of the regular salted bags where all this has for seasoning is less salt than the original. It lays, where's my salt? A 28 gram bag in the US supposedly contains 15 chips according to Lay's website. Uh, let's see how accurate this is. I hate doing this. I really hate doing this. We don't have a 28 gram bag, so I'll count the number of chips in a 40 gram packet as a comparison. It's 1.43 times heavier, but is it just as plentiful? Four. 10, 11, I'm, I'm running out of big chips now, it's all the small ones. That yeah, seems like a lot more than 15. Closer to like 21. That was very generous of you, Lays. I see the finish line, that's roughly 24. And, oh, 25 chips in a 40 gram packet. Okay, I'm already incredibly impressed at the number of chips they managed to fit into this bag, but they really could have put more in there, and we all know that Lay's chip bags are mostly filled with air anyway. It's actually nitrogen gas, which helps preserve the chips and also acts as a cushion to stop them from getting smashed in transit. I mean, <laughs> okay. But what is the air to chip ratio, you ask? It's a rhetorical question, let's find out. I'm going to take the smallest packet that we have, the 12 grams. So that's 533.3 milliliters I feel like I'm on the Food Network. Okay, now we need to find out the volume of the chips. 15. Our ratio is 0.028 chips to air, which makes it 2.8% chips, and the rest of it is all air. Incredibly scientifically accurate. Experiment yields 575 milliliters in the bag. Let's do five bags. And then we'll just get a bigger number than divide that by five, because we'll have an average. Smart? Great. Oh yeah. I, you guys have no idea how satisfying this is. <laughs> Born in 25. Divided by five equals 85. I forgot what it was. Can someone do that on screen for us, please? And there's the number we've been trying to get. Here are all the Lay's chips from China that you won't find in the US. And here are most of the Lay's chips from the US you won't find in China. All right, let's start with the exclusive flavors for the classic chip style. Now, these four are the most common flavors that you'll find here on the Chinese market. 
beginning with Italian red meat. <laughs> wow, it's nice and red. They were probably going for bolognese sauce here. It's not offensive, but you also can't quite place what exactly they were trying to do. Next, we have the Mexican chicken tomato. Mmm! Oh, that is delicious! Next, we have the Texas grilled barbecue flavor. It tastes savory. Last but not least, cucumber flavor. Why? Just why? I don't know what I'm eating. What is this? It's sweet, it's refreshing, it has an aftertaste of cucumber. I want to ask why, but I also kind of, I'm okay with it. It's, it's kind of nice. You know, I, I wonder if these are popular because they're foreign flavors, because we don't know what Italian red meat or Mexican chicken tomato is supposed to taste like, and apparently neither do you guys. All right, let's move on to our exclusive local flavors. The spicy crayfish, or as you guys in the US would call them, crawfish. Yes, that smells legit. Oh, it tastes a little bit less crayfish than it smells like crayfish. No, no, that's good, that's good. Oh, it's got that aftertaste. Mm. Wow, that is pretty authentic. Roasted cumin lamb skewer. Hands down, my all-time favorite street food. This is iconic, especially in summer. You'll see people hanging out in the alleys with their tank top rolled up, so their belly is exposed. We call that the Beijing bikini here. And then they'll be holding a, a bunch of these skewers with meat, just ripping them off and slamming back the beers. Oh, best things about China. It's street food, honestly. Hmm. No, I can see it's there. It's not as meaty as I would like, but then look, it's a potato chip, all right? I think they've done pretty well. Uh, what do we have here? Seaweed flavor. Roast garlic oyster. I think they should just rename this lineup to the street food edition. <laughs> Wasabi flavor. Oh, ho, 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 ho. If you finish a bag of this, block nose, gone. Mm. Fried crab. Holy crab. Wow, they've done really well. <laughs> Numb and spicy hot pot. Mm. It's spicy. I haven't got the numb yet. Maybe I need to eat more. The more you eat hot pot, the more the, the broth simmers down, the spicier it becomes. So at the end, your hot pot is way spicier than at the start. This feels a little bit like that right now. Here we have another popular flavor from the South, from Sichuan. This is roast fish. And we've got a special flavor from a past season, truffle. Oh. 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 oh, okay. Maybe I'm just lowbrow. I don't like the flavor of truffle. It tastes like a, a wet forest. No, oh, no, thank you. Hold these up. We have a lot, so many exclusive flavors. It's quite robust. Uh, I was not able to get all of them. So these are the ones I could find here in Southern California. First one, salt and vinegar. Come on, China. I like salt and vinegar better than plain potato chips. Sweet Southern heat barbecue. Different than a regular barbecue. Sweet and barbecue flavor. I think I like these better than regular barbecue chips. Let's compare. Regular US barbecue. Sweet Southern heat. These are better. Speaking of barbecue, honey barbecue. That's just okay, you know, this is not very honey-ish. The one with the sweet is sweeter than the one with honey. Go figure. Oh yeah, cheddar and sour cream. I mean, this thing. No, oh. top five over here. These are really good. We got lemon flavored. These are lime flavored chips with, I don't know who this person is. This is a guy in Ted Lasso. I don't know who this is. Cezando. 
Is that his name? It's like a one. <laughs> I have no idea what. <laughs> yeah. What? Lime and potato together? Who thought? I hate pickles. I hate... But I like dill. But I should, in theory, like this. Nope. Yeah. Go away forever. Do not like dill flavored chips. They also have flaming hot dill pickle chips. Couldn't get my hands on a bag, but I did get my hands on a bag of just the flaming hot chips. Oh man. It's like really red. Flaming hot? Yeah. Yep. Spicy, yes. Flavorful, not so much. Ones I think I'm gonna like. Chili lemon. Not as spicy. Way more flavorful. Oh yeah, and the lime aftertaste. Wow, these are fantastic. These might be my favorite. If I had to organize these in my uh, favorites, these are my favorite. These are delicious. These are all really good. Everything to hear on is like wood grab, do enjoy. The honey barbecue is not that sweet. Flaming hot. Yeah, hot, but not really flavorful. And dill pickles. Pickles suck. You can also get the adobas flavor, the Doritos Cool Ranch Lays flavor, and a cheddar jalapeno, which I really wanted to get. Couldn't get my hands on it. I was really bummed. All right, on to our regional limited, starting with the spicy chicken with rattan pepper. Now this is a very popular dish from Sichuan province down in Southwest China. That aroma is legit, very legit. This is way more numbing than the spicy and numbing hot pot. And more spicy too. The hot pot strikes back. This time it's the spicy hot pot. Nah, I don't taste the beef oil in there. I don't get the savory. Nah, this is meh. Sesame sauce hot pot. This is a Cantonese flavor. Ah, for once. This is Sam Tung roast goose flavor. Oh! Oh, well done. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Ha. Huh. Sam Tung, represent. Hmm. Marinated chicken feet. Lin Yi stir fried chicken. Now this originates from Shandong province, which is over in Eastern China. They're quite fond of their stews and braises over there. Meats and vegetables that have been cooked for a very long time. So hopefully this will be very flavorful. Okay, so I, I can taste the sort of um, a roast meat flavor, especially when you cook with a Chinese wok, there's a bit of smokiness that is attached to the, to the meat after you've cooked it. I feel like I'm getting that here. We're back to the Chinese flavors again. This is, um, it's called la zi, so it's basically stir fried chicken in a mountain of chilies. You know that the whole point of la zi is not to eat tons of chicken, but to find chicken from within the mountain of chilies. It's a dish that goes especially well with beer. There we go. We have another hot pot. This I think is the most pointless kind of hot pot. This is hot pot for people who can't eat spicy or numbing hot pot. For people like you out there, we have tomato hot pot. <laughs> okay, fair, fair enough. <laughs> it's quite tasty. And now for our 2023 Spring lineup, beginning with, oh, salt and pepper mantis shrimp. What do we have next? Oh, beef wellington. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I, I'm speechless. This leaves me very confused. It just tastes like butter. And last but not least, we've got the Takoyaki flavored chips. These are uh, Japanese street food. Mmm. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, the smokiness is on point. We have a bunch of chip style varieties in the US, starting with another thick chip variety kettle cooked. I don't know what it means. I'm assuming they cook them in a kettle. I don't know how. I don't know how to make regular chips. There's so many flavors to choose from sea salt and vinegar, sea salt and cracked pepper, mesquite barbecue, jalapeno. Everyone not in the US, I wanna tell you right now, these chips, fantastic. These might be my favorite chips. These are so good. Mmm. 
Other flavors include original, flaming hot, and Maui onion. All right, now onto our selection of wavy and wavy limited. Beginning with our roast chicken wing. This feels thicker than the regular chip, very crunchy. I'm starting to get the roast chicken in there. That's decent. The roast squid. Not that big a fan of roast squid, to be honest, but I will try the roast pork. It's tasty, but I can't really get the pork in there. I think the chicken is still better. This just says pure spicy. As if we haven't already eaten enough spicy chips. And tomato, nah, nah. This can stay unopened. Moving on to our Wavy Limited. These are a collaboration with another snack brand here in China called Huang Fei Hong, who make spicy peanuts. Uh, this one is hot and sour chicken feet. This is the spicy peanut flavor for which the Huang Fei Hong brand is best known. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like spicy peanuts, but in chip form. Okay, I'm sure many of you must be super curious as to what this is. This is Lay's Choco Ridge, which is a collab with a brand that's literally called Le Cake. Uh, this is their cheesecake flavored Choco Ridge. I've never had this either. A sweet dessert Lay's, wow. This is so wrong that it's so right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have very high expectations for this now. This is the Choco Ridge Chocolate Truffle. Here you can actually see how it's literally just a, a regular Lay's Crisp covered in chocolate. Well done. Oh, this is a good collab. We have something similar, our wavy style chips. Uh, these are three of the many options you can get here in the US. Of course, starting with original. We also have Hickory Barbecue. What this is, this is like they combine Funyuns and Wavy together. Oh, these are weird. Let's skip those. You can also get Wavy Reduced Fat Original, Wavy Ranch, Wavy Salt and Pepper, and Wavy Lightly Salted. Now, onto our non potato options, of which we have a lot. These are all yam. Yams have subcategories of yam crisps and yam rolls as well. These are the black sesame and chia seed yam crisps. Man, they sound healthy, don't they? So uh, in traditional Chinese medicine, black sesame is thought to help with hair growth. I've been recommended it a lot. Now I can taste the nuttiness of the black sesame. Mmm. <laughs> and I feel like my hairline is coming back any moment now. This is also something that adheres to traditional Chinese medicine. Chinese dates and goji berries. These are delicious. Wow. Here we have pastoral tomatoes. Roast chicken wing. Onto our yam rolls. These are an upgraded version of the crisps that you see. This is steak with tartary buckwheat. These things are so wafer thin. They have like this amazing crunch. They're airy, they're light. The very slight bitterness of the buckwheat lends itself very well to the steak. Fragrant red stew consisting of yam and highland barley, which is the main cereal planted on the Tibet Tinghai Plateau. We also have taro and sweet potato chips. This one is with black pepper and sea salt. It's very thin yet it's not crispy, it feels almost a little bit soggy. Refreshing lime. What, what's with all the refreshing chips? Pass. Sweet potato chips, natural flavor. I know this probably frustrates some of you at home, but the majority of people here in China open crisp packets like this, as opposed to horizontally, like in the West, because it's easier to open this way, easier to share. When you reach in, you don't get salt stuck to your hand. And it's also just less effort. I mean, we don't need to brute way our way into things. Not gonna lie, it's not so bad. So we had the regular sweet, sweet potato chips. Now we have sweet potato chips with added brown sugar. 
Oh, 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 why? No, oh. I'm not gonna waste as little time as possible on these big chips. They just, for people who want their chips to be more brittle and less flavored, I don't know, these suck. You have original or barbecue, here's original. I mean, this is the third time we've done this. Don't bother, just trust me, don't bother. Listen, they're all destroyed in there. Just, they don't have no taste, they're flimsy. The baked are bad. There's the Better For You and Simply Brand. Uh, the Better For You is a lightly salted, lightly salted barbecue, wavy, lightly salted, all these right here. I get it. Sodium can be an issue if you're snacking chips a lot, so why not go with the lightly salted? Uh, maybe, I mean, 50% 50 50 less sodium. That's pretty good, right? I mean, how do these, I'm curious how these compared to it. <laughs> is that 50% less? This is 100% less. I don't taste anything. Also, the Simply, I guess the whole deal is they just use simpler ingredients. Made with three simple ingredients, potatoes, sunflower oil, and sea salt. There's also the Simply Barbecue Thick Cut. I mean, how much better could it be? We also have two exclusives from the Simply lineup, which have 50% less saturated fat, the refreshing lime, and the seaweed. Guess what? We even have Lay's French fries. Let's go with the original flavor. These come in really big packets, by the way. It's so incredibly salty. I am so glad that they only gave us this tiny packet because I'm gonna just, no, I don't want the rest. Ugh. Cheese and butter French fries. Pink grapefruit flavor. I mean, you, you, you can't see this and not try it. This is really good. <laughs> this is so weird, but it's really good. Hot pink grapefruit lays. I'm gonna pick that up and eat it. That's that good. Mmm, shrimp. <laughs> we also have seaweed flavor French fries and tomato flavor French fries. But I am dying to try this purple potato French fries. Oh, I don't even know what that tastes like. No. Now we have one more non-potato chip Lay's. The air fried chicken breast. I have absolutely no idea how much chicken is in here. It looks like very tiny pizzas or little crackers. It leaves me very confused. I do taste the chicken, but hey, this is an interesting flavor. Ugh. Stacks, stacks, stacks. If you've seen any of the Lay's Food Wars we've done, I hate these for every reason. They are Pringle-shaped chips in plastic tubes instead of plastic bags. First of all, worst container, right? Does that sound like uh, some chips are uh, intact? These chips are really messed up, man. Not a pleasant experience at all, but I'm contractually obligated to tell you, besides these two flavors, you can also get stacks in mesquite barbecue, cheddar, salt and vinegar, bacon and cheddar potato skins, buffalo wings with ranch, extra flaming Hot, Flamas, and Chili Limon. Please don't get them. Trust me, they suck. We've got stacks too, and in many more flavors, as you can tell. Uh, Stax is basically Lay's take on the Pringles, but whereas Pringles took 10 years to come up with their saddle-shaped chip, which is actually known as a double-curved hyperbolic paraboloid, Stax went with a single-curved hyperbolic cylinder. So you can actually see the difference in the shape of the chip right here. The Stax, by the way, 
comes with a fancy schmancy plastic tray that's meant to keep it from breaking, but hasn't worked very well in this case. Here is an intact Stax, and here is an intact Pringle. To be honest, they kind of look similar. The Pringle has an extra curve down here, whereas the Stax down here appears to be a, a bit more flat. Now the Stax also comes in tomato flavor, cucumber flavor. There are some flavors that I would love to try, such as the sizzled barbecue flavor. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. This is a good plastic tray. Yeah, it tastes right. Black pepper ribeye steak. This I am actually very excited to try. Finger licking red braised pork. There's maybe a hint of pork in there and some sugar and some caramelizing, but that's pretty much it. Okay, we've got one for you Stax fans out there. These are the Stax Premium, the Stax Black. The Chinese name actually says Potato Workshop. Uh, and apparently, it has real food ingredients. So this is avocado with mustard. Why? Okay, now we have purple potato, so basically sweet potato, with coconut milk. Maybe it's an acquired taste. Ooh. I mean, you guys know I don't like truffle now anyway. I'm pretty lowbrow. But this is black truffle and black pepper flavored potato chip. Spanish ham flavored potato chips. I love me some Iberico jamón. I am praying that this is gonna be tasty. Fire them all, the rubbish. This is spicy crawfish. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay, finally we have a winner from the Stax Premium lineup. This is great. And I would say that this tastes even more authentic than the regular potato chip version of the spicy crayfish that we had earlier. Oh, roast chicken skewer, Wagyu beef. Sour and sweet rose petals. <laughs> oh, come on, ladies, you are just playing with me now. This is delicious. <laughs> wow. Imagine sitting in a nice, warm, milky bath, floating with rose petals and eating this sweet and sour rose petal lace. Wow, that would be the best evening ever. Wow. This is great, fantastic. We have a seaweed flavor. I like my seaweed. We've had too much seaweed today. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be okay. We also got Papa Bowls. These are so stupid. What is this? We don't need a new shape. Tell everyone in the biz, we don't need new shapes. So I don't know what this thing's supposed to be, but you can get it in sea salt, honey barbecue, sea salt and vinegar, white cheddar. Look, look at this, it's all hollow inside and Oh. Ugh. It's like a giant Chex. What, 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 are we, what are we doing here? Ladies, what are we doing here? Why, what, what, what? What? Now I know Lay's seems like going hard on you guys, but I have to say, ending with the dips, Lay's dips are fantastic. They have three to choose from, the smooth ranch, the French onion, the creamy jalapeno, couldn't get it. This French onion dip is drugs. Any chip works with it. Let's do my favorite kettle, jalapeno. Stellar. This dip works on literally everything. I would put this in my coffee if I could. It is so great. Fantastic. The dips are great. Check them out. A 75 gram bag of American classic Lay's in China is 7.3 yuan or 1.06 dollars. Our closest size to the 75 gram bag is the 74.4 gram bag, so 0.6 grams less. And it's $2.48 or 17.04 yuan. That 
is a 134% cost increase in the US. Right, but then if you take into account purchasing power parity, then Lay's charges the highest price in the world for its chips here in China. So here in China, even though the chip market only accounts for 15% of the snack industry, Lay's accounts for 50% of that chip market. These guys are definitely the creme de la creme when it comes to potato chips here in China and they've got such a wide variety of flavors that you will see them always in a prime shelf location in every convenience store across the country. Lay's in the US, Lay's is like the chip, right? There's other chip brands, but Lay's probably the most ubiquitous. You see them everywhere. They have so many different options and styles. I think any type of potato chip that's even remotely popular, Lay's has a knockoff version of it. Always good, always available, always decently priced, I guess. I think Lay's has been incredible in adapting to the Chinese market. They've basically gone and found all of the popular flavors and combinations in China, whether it's street food or restaurant food, and put them into a convenient and portable chip packet. Lay's is incredible at adapting because as you saw before, every like style they have besides a regular potato chip is a style that another chip brand had that they just took on. The kettle chips, they, they taste just like Miss Vicky's. They got the wavy ones, which was Ruffles, right? Um, the poppables, which I don't know, Bugles, checks. you tell me, any three-dimensional chip. The Stacks, which is going after Pringles. I mean, they, they're bloodthirsty, this company. They will go after anyone. Our classic Lay's, aka the American flavor, are made of potatoes, oil, American classic original seasoning, which is comprised of edible salt, monosodium glutamate, five flavor, nucleotide, disodium, and silicon dioxide. Our classic Lay's are made up of potatoes, vegetable oil, which is canola, corn, soybean, and or sunflower oil, and salt. Now there are two ingredients we wanted to highlight, which are monosodium glutamate, aka MSG, and five flavor nucleotide disodium. These two ingredients are used to give our chips a savory umami flavor. Ah, oh, MSG, it's the uh, black sheep of condiments. Now, for those of you who don't know what MSG is, it's used to add savoriness to food and was also associated with something called Chinese restaurant syndrome, which has since been debunked many times. Turns out it was a hoax, but basically the gist is when you go to a Chinese restaurant, after eating its food, you'll feel headaches, dizziness, sore throat, loss of appetite. You know, MSG is not the culprit. It's naturally occurring in tomatoes and bone broths. It's found in fermented foods from cheese to Worcestershire sauce to soy sauce. And actually the vast majority of MSG in the world is made through fermentation, just like yogurt or vinegar. MSG was a cause for health concerns in the US for decades. And concern still lingers today, even though the FDA considers the addition of MSG to foods as being generally recognized as safe, G-R-A-S. Both countries use the food coloring caramel color in our barbecued chips. Now, certain types of caramel color contain a byproduct called 4-MEI, 4-methylimidazole, and studies found that it caused cancer in rats and mice, which led to campaigns calling for it to be banned from foods. But it's also worth noting that this byproduct is found when you roast foods like coffee and meat. And the FDA was like, eh, it's fine. Humans don't come close to the levels of exposure that cause the rat tumors. That didn't stop the state of California adding it to its Proposition 65 list of chemicals, quote, known to the state of California to cause cancer or reproductive toxicity, end quotes. A 30 gram packet of China Lay's American Classic flavor chips contains 162 calories, 1.7 grams of protein, 10.5 grams of fat, of which 5.3 grams are saturated fats, 15.1 grams of carbs, of which 0.4 grams are sugars, 0.8 grams of fiber, and 170 milligrams of sodium. A 20 gram bag of classic Lay's in the US contains 160 calories, total fat 10 grams, of which saturated 1.5 grams, carbs 15 grams, 
and 170 milligrams of sodium. We did find that the 160 calorie chips with the highest fat content are the cheddar and sour cream chips. Here's what's in a bag of those. 160 calories, 10 grams of fat, of which 1.5 are saturated, 15 grams of carbs, and 170 milligrams of sodium. Dun, dun, dun! We have a very shocking discovery. Apparently, Lay's healthiest chips are in fact they're least healthy in that they have more calories on average than any other Lay's product here in China. And the worst offender, oh, is my hair growth serum, the black sesame and chia seed yam crisp. Now, 100 grams of this will equal 598.7 calories or 168 calories for a 28 gram packet. Now, in a 30 gram portion, you'll have 179.6 calories, 1.6 grams of protein, 13.3 grams of fat, of which 6.6 .6 are saturated fat, 13.7 grams of carbs and 212 milligrams of sodium, which means that the healthy yam chips are on average 11% more calorific than any other Lay's chips, containing less protein and carbs and more sodium and fat. You know, I always thought healthy just meant not tasty, but in Lay's case, apparently it also means less healthy. <laughs> what a plot twist. Okay, I don't know. Is this guy any good? It says messy on his shirt. Oh, is it, is it messy? No, it's not. That's not, it's Lionel Messi, right? No, that's not what he looks like. That's not him.